Hey everybody, it's Christina and I've got a message for you right before the Sabbath, straight from God. And you know, you you can read the Bible over and over again, but if you're directed by the Holy Spirit, even if it's to something that you've already read before, it can totally throw a, a whole new spin, you know? And so uh, I, I was... I was, I was just chilling earlier today and, you know, sometimes you just get these doubts or whatever and, and then God came to me and he just kept giving me the messages and, and basically that just told me, you know, he's just like totally ignoring the fact that I'm having doubts and I just need to quit, you know, I can hear him, I know I can and so he gave me this message today and it was just so odd how it started working out and but you'll see, you'll see. So, um, what happened was he, he showed me, uh, like a, like a Duck Dynasty Roberts, you know, they're probably my cousins because we had like three Robertson brothers that came over here at the same time. Two of them stayed in Louisiana and one of the Robertson brothers came to Texas, right? But he was still showing me basically Louisiana Swamp, you know, which I'm pretty familiar with, half my family was from the Baytown, Houston area, and the other from New Orleans, Mandeville area, all right, so I spent a lot of time in between those two places, like when we had Christmas or, you know, summertime, you know, whatever, and so, uh, he showed me these two swamp guys, you know, like, like Duck Dynasty, you know, they had these beards, they had overalls, they had white t-shirts, and they, they, they weren't the same person, but they dressed alike, and, um, I'm watching it, I'm watching it, and then he says, Christina, these two men can look alike, and one of them can be Satan's and one of them can be mine, but they look just alike. And that in communities, that there's a, a culture where everybody's dress is blended and culture is kind of blended. And whether you're light or dark doesn't really come out in the way that you dress. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know this. Yeah, you know, not that I'm trying to be uh, a jerk or anything. I'm just saying, yeah, I'm with you so far. So then he turns the two men face to face. And now it's clear that even though they dress a lot alike, that now they're facing each other and they're on opposite sides. And he starts telling me like, you know, when you're in a community, you know, you're like brothers. And he said that you know, these two guys are not related, all right? He's, he's, he's seeing brothers like a community, like, the people that I went to school with, it was a small town. And so even though we weren't related, we all really consider each other brother and sister to a very large degree. It doesn't matter how we get, we really do consider. And he's just basically saying that these two brothers, they, they will look alike, but they'll be on opposite sides. And he mentioned uh, Ramses and Moses how they had been once brothers in a way, right? And then they ended up on opposite sides. Facing each other was a very painful thing. And he's telling me that it's not gonna be much longer that people are going to look alike, no matter what their light is. He told me that um, this is what brother turning against brother means in the Bible. And, and I've read that before, you know, how like parents will betray their children and children will betray their parents and neighbors and everybody's like, take him, take him, take her, la, 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 la. The children, the parents don't matter. You know, people are being pointed out to death. And he's talking about brother to brother, you know, and he says, brother will betray brother. And I'm Okay, I know I've heard this before, and I found it in Matthew 10, 21. I'm sure there's way more verses, but um, this is this is where we uh, went first off the bat. And um, 
the verse before it, Matthew 10, 20, it says, for, and this was creepy, okay, for it is not ye that speaks, but the spirit of your father, which speaks, speaketh in you. And I'm like, that is exactly what's going on here. And then it says, and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death and the father, the child and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endures to the end shall be saved. And I'm sitting here going, oh my God, it really is going to be another Moses and Ramsey situation again. And it really puts more of a perspective of, you know, brother betraying brother. And then he brought up that wheat and tares thing, you know, that even though we grow up looking a lot alike, that in the end, it's going to be really obvious by the way you look. Um, who is who? The wheat and the tares. He's going to separate the wheat and the tares. And the Lord told me to tell you, all of you, that it's not going to be much longer that you're going to blend in. He says that there's going to be a, a division and that you're going to start looking like the side you're on. The masks are going to come off. The people that are like more passive aggressive, that really don't have the light, that like have that nice face on, oh no, finally, they're going to be fully manifest what they are. And all these other people, for instance, that may in the past have tried to fit in with a popular crowd are going to stand off and they're going to say, you know what, I'm going this way. I don't want to be cool that way no more. I'm going to, I'm going to go be this, I'm going to be with the light, you know, but everybody's about to take off their mask and there is going to be, um, there's going to start being like a, a different way that they dress, like a very clear difference in the way that we dress and it's going to start becoming more and more apparent, you know, we're going to be more conservative, you know, uh, we're going to be more strict with the way that we dress, you know, like, not trying to entice people, you know, I'm a little, sorry, Depeche Mode here, <laughs> but you know, when you're poor, you have to wear clothes, even if they don't fit exactly right, but you know, hey, I'm saying, well, I got a shirt on my back, right, you know, but, but that was, that was the message, that was the message I got today, is that you're not going to be blending in much longer, you're not always going to be able to keep that peace, so to speak, because we are naturally pitted against each other. It says you're either going to love one and hate the other or vice versa, that you can't serve two masters. And that really it is this time that we're going to start becoming manifest. And whether you like it or not, they're going to be family members, actual blood family members. Okay. Some of them are going to choose light and some of them are going to choose dark. And they will naturally be pitted against each other. They'll be sad, but it'll be exactly like Ramses and Moses, all right? And it's going to be hard. But you really, I mean, you want to talk about betrayal. You know, how hard it's going to be. No matter what you say, you know, it's going to be like them. They're going to think no matter what we say, you know, we can't get them to stop believing in this crazy Christian stuff. And we're going to be like, what are you, crazy? This is real. They're like, no, 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 no. You know, it's going to be like that. Both sides are going to think they're right. But there's only one truth. There's only one truth. And you're not going to be able to continue um, pretending to be something we're not. We can't follow the crowd anymore. We're going to have to be what we really are and stop being afraid of what we really are. People who love God. We love God. We love Jesus. Jesus Christ. I'm not afraid. I was talking to this one woman. She's a charity worker. Beautiful, beautiful woman I met. And I told her, and I, I mean, she's a Christian. She's fired up for God, fired up for Jesus. And I'm like, why isn't why isn't people speaking up more? What are they afraid we're going to 
cut us apart piece by piece like God can't put everything back together. Come on now. Look. It's just what God told me. And he's right. It's it's all in the Bible. It's it's more than just Matthew. So um, I had to get this out. It's pretty much about to be the Sabbath. So I got to check out. Love y'all. Peace. And God bless. See you soon. Bye.